Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, I am TNT Dynamite the Explosive One, TNT D A N O M I G H T, with the song music playing that I did not incorporate. Because you were looking at your phone like we were playing. <laughs> Oh, we're back again, folks. Looking at Justin Trudeau telling people in Canada to stay home. Hey, well, we should all be staying home, friend. That's why we're doing the season four of yep. Crazy Down Podcast because so we're home. Listen, you can listen to us. Yeah. So uh, here we are. If you are following us on uh, YouTube, Crazy Down Media, uh, <laughs> Spotify. Not. I, they are not. You're right. <laughs> Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, under the Crazy Down Podcast. We're back, TNT. We're trying to drop little. Quick hit episodes, half as long as normal, hopefully numerous times a week. We'll see. Little tidbits. How you doing, man? What's what's new? What do you, what do you mean from like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> don't don't let on the fact it's that something's supposed to be new. Yeah, dude, there's new stuff always. Yeah, Joe's trying to incorporate agitator into my Monster Hunter World build. That's what's new. All right, dude. Well, I'm, <laughs> glad that you're, I'm glad that you're in the streets out here, dude. Well, if they'd watch the YouTube, they'd know what I was talking about. Ain't nobody want to watch that. We'll make them, Jonas. Guys, listen, you got to watch it. The TNT's going to cry. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we're back here on the fucking podcast, dude. We're doing stuff. We're language. dropping quick hits for everybody. You got to watch your language. Uh, Not on the podcast, friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. Dropping. You... What? What? What do you say? No, no, what do you I'm saying? looking at you, and you hate when I look at you. <laughs> I do. Yeah, so. Yeah, we're going to get right into it today, man. The bedroom eyes. Tonight, I have a weird story for you, dude. Oh, man, this isn't about your first sexual experience, is it? When I was on my bed with her. Mm. Nope, that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> my thighs were clammy. <laughs> 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 so were hers. <laughs> His beard was so I mean Ew. Um so okay. So you know how like um they'll do stuff where they'll freeze like uh you'll you can like freeze your sperm, like you can like later like have a baby or whatever. Cryogenesis. Cryo freezing, yes. I was listening to NPR one day, this was a while ago, when and they have you? a service mm. where you can if you have a terminally ill Minor child. Wait, what? <laughs> yes. This is this is like where it gets strange. You can freeze your babies, fam? You can they they said that they there was this company offered a service that they would freeze the reproductive organs of the child wait, hold the to fuck. then have a baby later. Wait, wait, wait. Right, wait. dude. Right. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Right. So, but, like, say you have, like, a 16-year-old boy, and he's sick with cancer. He's terminal. You, oh, you can freeze his sperm to then later have a baby. Oh, because he's terminally he's ill. He's terminally ill. So you can have your... Wait, so, no. You right. can't do that. Doesn't that make a super ethical question of, like... Like, so, like, you have a kid. He's gonna He's going to die. He's ill. Yes. And you're a mom or dad, and you're like, I want to have grandkids for my baby. My thing is that, so you're talking about terminally ill. When I think of that, I'm usually thinking of something that's, I don't know, hereditary or like genetics of some sort. I don't, yeah, man, that's weird. So or they could freeze the eggs of the girl to then later have a baby, like you have a surrogate. Yeah, but even still, it's going to have like the genetics, so it might also, the yeah, child like, might also seems, have this. Yeah, that seems a It seems off. ethically wrong. Yo, some some people just need to get a fucking puppy, man. Just fucking chill the fuck out and get a dog or a cat or something. Yeah, yeah like, but like, I guess my, it's my, too much. my question with that is like, does the parent have a right to do that? No, because like, what if the kid was like, I don't ever want to, I don't ever want kids, yeah. and then like, and then you're like, I want a grandbaby to let your legacy live on. Yeah, this, I think this is a, this is a prime case of it's only legal because it's never been tried. <laughs> like, that, like it's not, yeah, like if they ever took it to court, yeah, they would like 
immediately kabosh the ish out of that. Yeah, they'd be like, wait, what, what? They're doing what? <laughs> All right, let's go discuss Right, this. and it costs like $20,000. Of course. I, yeah. well, I knew it was for fucking, fucking rich people, Jonas. Come on. Yeah. It sounds like some comic book villain type of shit anyway. <laughs> comic book villain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll freeze the eggs of my sick child. And I'll be to immortal. then have a baby. <laughs> and then I'll inhabit their body and I'll be immortal. Right, yeah, it does sound like some super villain. It does, doesn't man. It? But like, I was just like, who the hell came up with this idea and was like, yeah, this is a good idea. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not even like adverse to cloning, Jonas. Really? No, I'm not. Okay. 100%, Why? Jonas. Like, I feel like me, as a man who is not going to have any children, okay. I would be okay if they cloned me, and then when I died, my clone lived on. Okay. I'm cool with that. But, like, your clone wouldn't be exactly, you would be of physically the same as of you. Of course it wouldn't, but it's the only way that my genetic, my genetic material is going to enter the next generation. Whoa. What if you could clone yourself and mm-hmm. raise yourself as a baby? No, see, I don't want that. Wouldn't that be crazy? No, nah, you can just give him up for adoption. I'm cool with that. And then he just, little TNT Dynamite running he's the world. Not, I mean, he's literally just little me. Because <laughs> he's just a clone of me. But, like, would they clone him as an adult or would they clone him as, like, an embryo and have him, like, birthed? I don't know if we can accelerate that cell growth to that extent we don't have control just pops you out as a grown ass <laughs> yeah like we don't have cryo we don't have like stasis chambers where they just ex- accelerate growth like that we can't control cancer but the thing is i would be cool with the fact that i'm never gonna have children okay and it seems like the impetus for people having kids is always like you know you gotta have you gotta keep your legacy going i would like my legacy to keep going i would like a clone of myself Give it up for adoption. Okay. Or, you know, give it to somebody in my family who I trusted who couldn't. Or give it to a, a couple I trusted or, you know, or whatever. I, sh- I keep saying it and you got to understand. <laughs> I know I'm talking about a baby, but I'm also talking about myself. But it's also talking about, like, is it human? Yeah, what do you mean is it human? <laughs> it's cloned. It's literally a human. It meets all the specifications. All the boxes are checked off. Except for it wasn't birth. It wasn't grown in a womb. What do you think the freaking uh, intravenous, not intravenous, what do you call it? The kids that are born in, I don't want to say test tubes because that's the... Intro, intravenous or whatever the hell they call it. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I just said. No, that's... No, in, 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 not in utero. In utero. In utero, yeah. That's birthed. No, it's then it's the other mm. one. Well, I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to birth it. I'm not talking about like just putting my seed on a freaking petri dish and, and just watching it grow sprout, growing into TNT 2.0, yeah, like a like a fucking potato plant in a science project. <laughs> you put some legumes in a paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you, put, you shoot it into a paper towel, it turns into a little dynamite. Yeah, man, I'm a human. I'm not Groot. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like yes, yeah, put it put it in a female, and then. Fucking like it. Or but I mean, or, what's the difference between that and just like taking some of your semen and having a in a, a fertilization with a female and having her birth it the same as anyone else would? I don't know, because then I probably have to pay child support and I ain't doing that. What if you could find a woman that would be like, I'll have your baby, contract, no child support, just so you can let your legacy live I've on? I've had that happen. I told you that I had a lesbian woman approach me and she told me how she disrespected uh, the, who I was and she asked me if I would help her and her girlfriend have a child. And I told her is that I am shooting blanks. Oh. Which I am. Right, right, And right. no, you ain't sticking a needle in me to tick, extract tick. nothing. Yeah. It ain't now, worth it. let me ask it. you this. If, you were, if that wasn't the case, would you have considered it? I told her, I would, yeah, 100% would have done it for her. Absolutely. But you would have to have a contract that said they couldn't come after you for child support, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Would you have ever wanted to, like, see the kid? Or would you have liked to just, like, let them have it, and then they do their thing, and you pretend he, doesn't, he she, doesn't exist? Wow. <laughs> Cause like that's you always like, gotta throw a little sauce in there, don't you? Well, <laughs> you always throw a little you sauce. You know how I do, dude. It's that's always too question. much sauce though, because you now you're making me sound like the bad guy. You're like, oh, I, I plant the seed. You're like, wait, I gotta yeah. see the kid. I gotta you're, talk to him. You're tilting the scales when you say, and just pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> that's tilting the scales. Okay, 
<laughs> not pretend it doesn't exist, but yeah. like, but like they take they you impregnate them, they moved to Washington, and you know you're never gonna see him again. Uh, whew. yeah. Or would you want to be like part of the life? Okay, well, look, just the fact that there's hesitation in my voice, I guess I probably would not be a hundred percent cool with that right. because I I imagine that curiosity would get the better of me. Like, what does my kid look? You know, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel you, yeah. So I don't know, I, but even if I were to have a relationship, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on what they want. I would do it for somebody who could not, who could not bear children, or like a I lesbian could. couple that they yeah. don't have the ability to, yes, to if fertilize or whatever. If I could, obviously, I would have to trust the individuals. Um, you know, I don't right. You wouldn't want to like impregnate a crackhead or something like somebody like you know you at your <laughs> home shooting up crack. Right, we've been there, done that already. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about that one. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it but, would be. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't mind. I still say just the cloning thing seems a lot less like I would have that emotional contact. So yeah, because it would be like literally a little you. It wouldn't be like a child of your yeah. or something. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, they're just having another me. Yeah, me's gonna grow up again. Not yeah. like here's me fertilizing this egg and forming this new human yeah and I, I i like that idea now i know that in no way we'd be like connected by consciousness or anything like that but i, I just think it'd be cool to keep me going on me going on dude it would be so weird to like like imagine like that's what happened and you like it was just one of those things where like yeah you said like you just let somebody else have the somebody you trusted you're like you're like 60 years old you're at Walmart, yes. and all of a sudden, like, you see, like, 30-something-year-old yourself, like, just be, like, walking by, and you're like... Oh, uh, no, they work at Walmart, No, no, dude. no, they don't work there. They're just there shopping, too. No, man, because if I find 30-year-old me working at Walmart, man, I'm going to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> Rock up and sucker punch. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fight me. I'm going to fight my, my... What son. would you say before you hit yourself in the face? <laughs> what would you... Or would you just walk up and sucker punch you? <laughs> just... Fighting yourself. Yeah, why not, dude? Yeah. Now, if you punched yourself and you knocked out a tooth, would your tooth fall out too? No, Jonas, stop. <laughs> We're not. No. No, I was going to say, would it be assault or would it just be like <laughs> self harm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you killed your clone, would you be going to jail for murder or suicide? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's the difference between calling the therapist and the police, Jonas. Which one do you call? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Like, if if someone, I guess if I had, like, a lesbian friend and they were like, look, we really respect you. Like, we can't have a baby ourselves because we're two women. Would like, you look it up? I'm, like, I am, like, the all the scenarios guy. So, like, there would be, a, there would be like, a thorough vetting process. Even if I thought mm -hmm. I knew them, I'd be like, let's sit down. Let's have a talk. And I would just, like, psychoanalyze them. Yeah, see, man, I'm handing my my shit out in Sprite bottles. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can get three Sprite bottles for 1995. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that lady that was yeah. selling pre positive pregnancy tests on Craigslist. Yeah, just like, look, <laughs> got one. You get like those little uh, things from the from the 25 cent bubble gum machine that had like football helmets, and you just put yeah. them in there, snap them off, yep. toss them out. Yep. <laughs> You're like, hey, that ain't airtight. You better watch yourself. <laughs> right. like, it's like, oh, you're like, watch out. That's not the slime from the yeah. from the gumball machine. Yeah, no refunds. Do they still have gumball machines? I haven't uh, like looked for one in forever. Those things are so fucking unsanitary. <laughs> now, Billion children. Yo, I can't believe that we ever even fucked with those things, man. They're disgusting. <laughs> I loved that slime that you would get out of them, dude. That goopy, gross, like. Yeah. What was that? I, I don't know, dude. Or how about the fucking hands that just stuck to everything? Dude, I love those. Yeah, just picking up bacteria and germs, <laughs> dude. And it would get so so covered and filled it wouldn't yes. stick anymore. And you still use it. <laughs> you you wash it, and then it got sticky dude, again. <laughs> oh, my God. It's disgusting. <laughs> or you had the ones that you would throw at the wall, and then they'd like, climb down the wall because oh, yeah. of yeah, the spider. <laughs> just soaking up bacteria, dude. <laughs> Literally, that was the, that they were designed to soak up bacteria. Ew, that's just, really gross. Yeah, Silly putty. Just, yeah. I don't know why that was ever fun. Put it on a newspaper. <laughs> the fuck reads a newspaper? <laughs> Nobody. 
Oh my god. Nobody reads the newspaper, Joe. This Dude, I was thinking about it. Like, if the internet went down today, do you know how slow news would travel? Because there ain't no newspapers anymore. <laughs> like, no, like, no. I mean, they're very not published. It's like they wouldn't be able to make enough newspapers for everybody. They don't even have the capacity to print for that many people anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't think they would. They probably have gotten rid of a lot of their printers and stuff, definitely. I mean, they still have that sort of stuff because, like, especially, like, in Austin, they have, like, the Chronicle, which is similar to, like, the Scene Magazine in Cleveland. It, like, has local mm. events and stuff. So they do – they are able to print a paper. Oh, they're just ready for the EMP to hit, huh? <laughs> that, that one that one organization. Yeah. Like, we've been planning for this for 75 years. They're going to love it, man. <laughs> the EMP. Jesus. It's a James Bond movie. Hey, look, man, it's feeling pretty James Bondy out here right now anyway. Yeah, dude, the street's full of Bond. <laughs> yeah, Jonas, uh, you don't, you wouldn't want to clone yourself, Jonas, you don't think? Oh, I would like to raise my own clone, I you think. You want to raise your own clone? Yeah, dude, I think so. It, I, I don't know. How would that, I don't know if I would like that. Like to raise yourself as a baby all the way through, like, Yeah, anywhere. I mean... Like, you understand yourself, but, like, a lot of who we are is so contingent on, like, what we've gone through in our experiences. Right. Like, a clean slate me, I don't know if I'd be able to interact with it. It'd be well, like, right. Uh, you would know how maybe, like, your brain works kind of, but not necessarily because, like, they wouldn't have went, like, especially, like, they, you have one today. Like, we didn't have the technology that exists today when we were children. So, like, the children who have, you know, like, so, so if you... Being you had the technology you had as a child, as you had as an adult, would you be a different person? It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. would you be a greedy asshole because you want everything now? Plus, Where back like, then we used to have to wait. Yeah. Plus, like, I had, like, a mom and a dad and shit, and I'm just like a dude. <laughs> it's just you raising <laughs> yeah. yourself. Like, could you imagine? Me and you each have clones, like Baby Jonas and Baby TNT just hanging oh out. Oh, my God. Baby. We're just both out here in the living room breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> two men and two babies we'd have a reality show yo actually jonas that's a killer sitcom idea keep two that men, in the bank two, two men two babies yeah two men two babies it's like three men and a baby but not as weird <laughs> why like, was that movie a movie <laughs> i don't know dude that's weird i would love to just walk out in the living room and be like jonas uh can you watch a little dynamite i gotta play D D tonight and then the laugh track ensues <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, no, because me and little Jonas are going to freaking the uh, Boy Scouts today. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like some shit you would do. I would, I dude, I was not a Boy Scout boy. Yeah, but you seem like you'd make your kid do the Boy Scouts. Oh, I'd make him play piano. you make him play piano? I would. I, you know what, man? I don't know what it is about parents... Like, just, like, uh, f forcing activities that they want to see their child do. No. Here's why. What if he doesn't like the piano? I don't think anybody likes it when they're a kid. <laughs> because here's the deal. Here's the like, deal. I, like, it, I've, like, a lot of people I know that can play music have told me that if you learn how to play the piano, you can pretty much learn how to play any other instrument because you understand how music works. Yes. So if you had a great knowledge of music as a child, even if you hated it, later in life when you're, like, a teenager, you're like, I'm going to be in a rock band because, like, kids do, you already know music. And, like, dude... At this point in my life, like, I thought, like, man, it'd be cool if I could, like, play keyboard or do something. But, like, I don't – it's so hard to learn when you're old. Is it? Well, and to have the time – like, you have don't have time. And and you ain't got the time. Now, pre-pandemic, motherfucker. The judge make time. The judge? <laughs> what? The judge make time. Who's that's, that? I'm sorry. That's a – that's a uh, – that, damn. Pimple Butterfly. That's a Kendrick Lamar. Okay. That's, a, like, that's, that's, that's a Kendrick Lamar. Now, my point is, Joe, is like you, if you could give up an activity or, or a, a couple of activities, you learn to play the piano. You're not stopping I, you. I honestly thought about it. I actually looked up one to buy that had like weighted keys and shit, so I could like spend the time to learn how to play it. But I decided to spend my time doing other things. That's fine. I want to do martial arts, Jonas. I'm telling you, we should get into that. Why should we do it if you want? I, I want to learn martial arts. We should do it. Yeah, Jonas, why not? Why do I need to do I it? I don't know. We did improv. <laughs> because I sent you a thing and said, I'm thinking about doing this. You're like, I'm in. That's how that went. 
I sent you a screenshot. Well, be into my my uh, martial arts. Let's go learn capoeira. <laughs> Drunken we, kung we fu. We mean only the strong two. Yeah, the strongest. Yes. <laughs> the, the TNT and Jonah <laughs> might start. Yes, Jonas. <laughs> Let's go enter the Kumite. Dude, if I tried to put all my weight on one arm, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> If I tried to flip upside down like Eddie Gordo. You don't have to do the flips, man. You that's part of Capoeira. No, you didn't just do like simple stuff. Like I can like maybe we should just learn how to break dance. Let's turn around and do a horse kick. You want to learn to break dance? Let's do that. Put down pieces of cardboard on the living room and just spin, dude. Just spin and spin and spin. I would do a play. A play. That I would do. Like like some Broadway shit. Wait a second. We go from do doing Capoeira to to Break dance into a play? Well, yeah, because I don't want to dance. But if you want to perform, I'm just trying to. I'm just staying in the same lane. I like to perform, but I like improv because I don't have to learn lines. Oh, that's like the cheap man's. Well, acting. you could just be a tree, <laughs> or a rock, yeah. or grass. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, say moo. I just, I just lay on the ground and like wiggle my fingers. There you go. <laughs> Best grass I've ever seen, yeah. except for the one I smoked. <laughs> That joke. It was. <laughs> you got there before I, I did. did. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. gonna say it. Yeah, dude. You know, uh, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I miss improv. Yeah, it was fun. It was a hiatus, dude. I don't know if we're ever gonna get back to it. Yeah, eventually, man. Things will either go back to normal or they won't. <laughs> right. Those are the only options. This that is we now have. our norm. This is our life now. Yeah. As a uh, self-confirmed stoic man, I'm just like, hey, there's not a whole lot we can do to stop anything that goes nope. on in our lives, man. So we can only control the way we react to things. Exactly. Well, I mean, even not even if you're not taking the stoic route and you're going like life's the whole like life's 90 percent how you react to things and 10 percent what happens to you. Amen. But you know what I mean? It's like. That's a bar, Jonas. It is, dude. Or I think it's life's ten percent what happens to you, ninety percent how you react to it. Yeah. Either yeah. way, I knew what you meant. But yeah, that's a it's bar. Like that's a bar. Some facts, dude. It's total fact. Yeah. So uh, you know, stay positive out there. Yeah, dude. You keep it in the streets and not in the sheets. And not Wait, in the sheets. Maybe you should keep it in the sheets and not in the streets. No, oh, yeah. Take it out of the sheets. Wash it. Let me ask you this: If you had, if you had an STD that wasn't curable and you cloned yourself, would they have the STD? <laughs> what the fuck? Would, would you be able to like clone yourself to get out of AIDS? Something you want to tell me, man? No. You're saying, <laughs> like, like would they have? If you have like, a, like if you like had a disease, would they have it if they if they cloned you? I just used an uh, STD because that was just like. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's a chance, but I don't know if an STD necessarily rewrites your DNA. Right. Like, if you had, like, AIDS, would your DNA then have, like, AIDS? No, I don't think so. Because I think it's a DNA thing. And, like... Oh, because they use the DNA structure, not, like, the... Yeah. And, so and anything, that's just kind of, like, a molecular, like... Yeah, it'd have to be, like, stuff you were born with, I guess? And I see, and, like, there's always a chance. And then, like, when you get into shit like that, there's, like... A recessive and oh dominant dominant recessive traits and it's usually like the person the kid gets lupus because the mom and the dad both had the recessive traits for lupus right and right or you could like clone yourself and he had and he has like blonde hair because you have like some recessive like blonde gene somewhere and you're like why does my clone have blonde hair yeah me and my mom would have to have a talk <laughs> If that were the case, <laughs> you'd be like, "I cloned myself, mother, and I have blonde hair." What are you telling me? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh shit! Oh. All right, TNT. That is all the time we have for this episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. Please make sure to subscribe. Uh, look at us. Uh, look us up on Spotify, iTunes, mm -hmm. YouTube under Crazy Town Media. Social media, we're out there. We don't really use it because we are cool. Mm -mm. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. For now, we are. Oat.